Hello everybody. Today I'm out and about with my good friend Grant. We have had many rock hunting adventures together. And we're in central Oregon near Madras. We came here to do some rock hunting. Uh, Grant makes jewelry so we're going to a few agate digging places. And uh, we're, we stopped at this road cut of beautiful columnar basalt and what's unique about this particular outcrop is the columns are really small. You can see the drill, drill, drill cores here and there where they blasted and um, further down here the columns are very well exposed. I'm going to pause a little bit till we get down there. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. I figured I'd talk to you a little more while we walk along here. We're trying to get to where the really good exposure was. Uh, I posted a short yesterday of the Crooked River Gorge. That's another spectacular example of columnar basalt. From what I've researched, the columns form perpendicular to the direction of cooling. And so, yeah, these are spectacular. So the, usually they're straight up and down because you have the cold ground underneath and the air above. But what causes them to curve like these are, I have no idea. So if you guys can leave some comments, if you know about this, I would really appreciate it. I've watched a lot of Nick Zelmer's videos uh, out of Washington. And of course the state of Washington is full of columnar basalt as well. Here's a very interesting feature. Sorry about all the noise. I'm not sure what would have caused this. It looks like it could just be from the way they drilled. You can see the cores there. But this section in the middle of the screen looks noticeably different than to the right and to the left. And I'm not sure why. Anyway, just walking along here, sharing the moment with you guys. Very unique structure. There's my friend Grant. We've been rock hunting together off and on for many years. Oh, these are beautiful. We're looking for a small column section that I can take home, but they really don't look like anything up close. They, it would be a very boring rock. <laughs> so we're hoping to find like a perfect hexagon or something. Uh oh, Grant picked up a rock. What do we got? See that sitting on in my backyard wouldn't look like much. So I don't know if I'm gonna take any of this. <laughs> This uh, really looks good. The sun, the sun again, as, as we were yesterday at the gorge, the sun just happened to be at the right angle and here we're, it's the same way. The sun coming from the side really highlights the structure. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, I'll be right back. Anyway, uh, my friend Grant headed back to the car and I'm gonna do the same. I walked a little further down, but it really doesn't change much. And uh, this gives us a very good picture of the structure. Again, what's unique about this, because most of the columnar basalt that I've seen pictures of, or even that we've seen on our trip so far, the columns are really thick, several feet across. And these are narrow, so I just thought this was very interesting. And uh, I wanted to share it with my Granite Paradise family and friends. Thank you for watching. 
always appreciate your comments, uh, suggestions, anything of that nature. I also have added my email in the, in the, uh, I guess what it would be called, the channel description. So you can contact me that way too. And we can talk about rocks. God bless you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.